I've been single for the last couple of months. I've been dating. I've been meeting new people. It's been real fun. I mean, really, really enjoying the life. But let me tell you one thing that I've learned that everybody lies. Everybody lies and everybody always got some shit going on that you probably don't want to be a part of. So if you're thinking like, who should I pick? Oh my God, the one that has the most money. The one that's the funniest and the one that makes the most money. And if they're two separate people, pick the one with the money. And, and fine words, sprinkle, sprinkle. So in your delusional mind, you think being played by someone who is funny and with money somehow makes it worth it. This is the knowledge and the wisdom that you want to feed other females. And this is the knowledge and apparent wisdom that you feed yourself. You see, this is why I say modern day prostitute. Because you are selling yourself for funny and money. You see, you will overlook everything as long as you're getting a piece of what you want. And somehow, you think it just makes it worth it because he's funny or has money or if both even. But this is how a lot of the times, they actually just belong in the streets because you will just be ran through by funny and money and men will see that and they will use this just to get the coochie but guess what you are willing to give the coochie up for those things that's her price that's the price to get her coochie if you got some money or you're funny sprinkle sprinkle PSA to all men, it's not exactly the money that she wants, it's the experience that comes with it. Every girl knows the feeling of being next to a man who has his bank account right. You know that this man is stable, you know that he's disciplined, you know that he's strong, you know that he's well respected. That he gets the job done, you know that he does not play around. All of these things make a woman feel very safe and protected in the presence of a man like this. Really, it's the sense of security that comes with it, knowing that if anything happens, you will be okay. The first thing she says is the reason why modern females are interested in these type of men is the experience she will get from him. Not his morals, not his characteristics, not the type of man that he is, not the type of man that he will be, not the type of man that you would want to marry but the experience that his money can get you and you feel secure in that because you know money can do pretty much anything for you in that moment in time so that is her price her price is the experience a man can give her now experience can come in loads of different ways you can go on trips holidays car drives depending on what kind of car you have or even restaurants food places to go wherever it is that is her price and if you can give her an experience that your money can buy you have her that's how much she costs the experience your money can buy i have a problem with cheap men not because of the money cheap men are also cheap with their emotions with their time with how much they're willing to give in a relationship. Like that guy who's not willing to pay for my $5 chicken and rice, what about when we have kids mm -hmm. one day? That guy's not gonna be willing to get up in the middle of the night with me to feed the kid, right? Cause he's gonna be like, well, that's your job. It's like, okay, well then what is your job? If you're not the breadwinner, if you're not the caretaker, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just your bitch over here. Yeah, that's <laughs> not equal, okay? No, the whole concept of, is not the fact that he's cheap, is the mentality that comes with someone being cheap, but, that's not really what you're saying though because if it was the mentality then you would have spoke about his mentality and you wouldn't have to label it as cheap see the problem is is the lifestyle that he's gonna live because he can't be able to give you the lifestyle that you want to live so for dinner she doesn't want to have chicken and rice she probably wants a gourmet or lobster on the side and she probably doesn't want to always cook it but she knows that someone that isn't making um six figures she will have to do more cooking she'll have to spend more time in the kitchen 
and she ain't gonna get everything that she wants to get that's why she's saying willing to buy because what are you willing to give you see you're cheap because you can't be able to afford these things because everything that she stated is everything that money can buy she didn't actually mention anything about his character she didn't actually mention anything about his morals is anything and everything about what he can be brought forward to give her to make her life experience more pleasant and more comfortable a lot of times these modern females realize or do have some understanding that the less he makes the more work you're gonna have to put in and that really goes for both sides because he's working to make the money and you're working to also keep the home at home it's actually balanced but here's the thing modern females like her do not want to put in the work they want the guy to buy her things to make her life easier that's all that it is listen if you listen to these females very carefully you will always hear how much their coochie costs that's all they're really saying either directly or indirectly there's always a price always it's always how much you need to give or what you need to be able to give either way there's always a price thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye